Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our Duskmorn set review. Uh, we're looking at the top five budget cards. I didn't really put the top five budget thing just because I love this art so much. I think it's such a creepy little, I guess Ode to the Shining is what I'm thinking it is, but yeah, oh boy, it's fun. So the top five budget picks. So we're going to look at my top five budget picks uh, before the, I do the bundle opening. Um, for what I consider budget, I'm going two dollars or less, and I'm using the MTG Goldfish value. Um, not a sponsor, first of all. I usually use TCG Player, but um, they list each card individually, so it's a nightmare to try and look at values of things. Um, MTG Goldfish is just much better if you're looking at like, you know. Hundreds of cards, you don't need to see every individual card listed like that. So yeah, it's kind of much better for that, I think. Anyway. Oh, please hit like and subscribe. That really does help so much. Okay, so starting off creepy. Uh, Arabella Abandoned Doll. Okay, so a white, uh, uh, a white and a red, or a red and a white, whatever. For a 1-3... Legendary Artifact Creature Toy. Super creepy. Great. And whenever uh, she attacks, it deals X damage to each opponent and you gain X life where X is the number of creatures you control with power two or less. I love this as a commander, especially. Um, I think this would be really interesting. Usually Boros is all about like being very aggressive equipment. You know, all kinds of like Stuff like that, and um, this could be used with the equipment as well, I think, but um, it's really focusing more on like token creatures and stuff like that, which Boros can also do pretty well, but there usually aren't, there isn't like a lot of like great commanders for it in Boros, I think. So, this is uh, definitely fi filling something that is like an interesting take on it. So, yeah, especially with life gain, uh, life gain token deck not what people expect from Boros, so I think it would be really interesting to build. Anyway, 106. Uh, Razor Kin Horde Collar, which I can read totally normally and quickly. Uh, four and a red for a 4-4 four, four with haste. Eh. Whenever you attack, create a 1-1 one, one red gremlin creature token. Okay, that's not great at first glance, but what does it not say? Not whenever he attacks, whenever you attack. So you can attack with anything, and this is going to make a token. You can just like attack with like, whatever your little 1-1 uh, one, one token, and this is going to get triggered and make another token. Um, so yeah, as long as you declare an attack, basically you get a token every turn. So I, especially with a token, well token decks obviously, and Convoke deck. I, I would like to throw this into my Convoke deck. Maybe 5 is a little steep on CMC, but especially if you can get some kind of synergy with Gremlins, it would really take off quickly. So this is a... Again, it's only one uh, token per turn, but it, that's kind of a nice thing because then people aren't like targeting it, basically, right? This isn't so good that people are like, oh, I gotta take this out right away. They're just going to leave it alone, probably. Anyway, $1.10. Cynical Loner. Okay, one and a black for a 3-1 human survivor. It can't be blocked by glimmers. Sure, I'm sure that's a thing in the set. At the beginning of your second main phase, if Cynical Loner is tapped, you may search the library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Any card you want straight to your graveyard just for her being tapped um however she gets tapped if she attacks if you like equip her with something or put an enchantment on her that allows her to tap to get whatever effect or even just if she's like crewing a vehicle or something like that or yeah um then hey th this is yeah she's great as a pilot actually now that i'm th saying that out loud you tap her down and she's three one so you can crew a lot of things with that and um, so yeah you, you're getting whatever you want to your graveyard there's uh things where it's like if you've got four card types you get this bonus and things like that like in the last video i believe it what is it called ruler crusher coaster or something like that 
it, you can, all of your non-combat damage is doubled as long as there's four more card types among uh, cards in your graveyard. This makes it very easy to do. Again, you can get a creature, instant sorcery, those three to the graveyard, no problem. And then she can just search out whatever you want for the fourth one. Throw a basic land in the graveyard, why not? And yeah, she can do it, no problem. And only 129. As a setup card, this is incredible, really. Insidious Fungus. Okay, so one green for a 1-2 fungus, obviously. You can pay two and sack it to choose one. Destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, draw a card, then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. A land card, not a basic land card, just a land card, okay? And this is really if you've got a deck with a lot of recursion, right? If you can keep pulling this out of the graveyard and just sacking it over and over and over, you're just gonna keep like using this basically as ramp or removal. Ramp and removal are two things every deck really, you know, aims for. Maybe not first priority, but second priority. You're also getting a little bit of card draw. So hey, there's something nice too. It ends up costing three mana, which isn't super cheap, but it's still worth it, I think. Especially if you're pulling it out of your graveyard and not paying the, the cost, then it get, is uh, just really good at that point and gives you a fair amount of like control over the effects it has. Anyway, 132. Exorcise, okay. I said that really weirdly, really exercise. Um, one and a white, exile target artifact, enchantment, or a creature with power four or greater. A lot of the creatures you want to exile, maybe, I think a lot of times they do have higher power, or you can target something with higher power, but even if there isn't a target you really want with higher power, there's gonna be an enchantment or a artifact. So this is just great removal. Um, I'm really hoping to pull at least a couple of these. I can find homes for them in decks for sure. I, I honestly really like this removal. 185 for this one. Okay, so this has been my uh, top uh, top budget picks for Duskmorn. Um, let me know what you think. Is there something I miss? Is there something you'd have in your top five that I wouldn't have, didn't have in mine? Um, this looks like an interesting set anyway. The art, I love the art. Anyway, take it easy.